Hi Cap, welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Capricorn Sun, Moon, or Rising. And as always, welcome to my Cross Watchers. Cross Watcher, you could be dealing with a Capricorn and the message could be for you, so feel free to take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind that these are general and timeless readings. And if you guys are wanting to book a one-on-one, -on -one, my website information is down below in the description box. So just go ahead and subscribe your email there and that way you'll always get an email notification every time my availability opens up. And as always, thank you guys so much for liking, subscribing. Thank you for all the ways you've supported the channel. And let me grab one more and we'll dive in. Too many. Let me get one more specific. I'll just start putting up really quickly. We have the Justice card, something about the Libra. We've got balance, clarity, truth, cause and effect, justice, equality. Love it. There could be something going on with legal. I don't know if you guys are ending a contract or signing a contract or something is coming up around that over this next week. Documents, something along those lines. Let's see. Ah, and the Queen of Swords. Fine print. I just heard that. Crossing all the T's, dotting all the I's. Sorry, it really did flip. Give me a second. I saw the Queen of Swords. There you are. That's why I was getting that. Crossing the T's, dotting the I's, everything. Clarity. It, they're pretty similar, actually. So I feel like that's you this next week, like looking at everything, looking at the fine print, taking a look at something. You're really analytical. You're trying to look at all aspects of a particular thing because you've got a vision here and you're moving much more into the future, right? Because see the mountain in the background? That's a part of your vision. So anything that you're looking into, signing for right now, you're also taking a look at the future and how like the cause and effect of the decision that you would make right now. You're trying to look at the future possibilities or the future outcomes of whatever you dive into right now, which I also love the self. Something that you move into right now is more connected with yourself or like you're very in tune with yourself. It's almost like you're going to be either some of you guys might legit be getting visions and you might not even know it. Like sometimes you get visions and you you just kind of write them off or you discount them. They're actually very significant. More people have intuitive abilities than they realize, but there could be something here, either dreams or you get a vision about something that's going to happen and it actually happens. So let's see if we can get details about this. There also could be communication here. Well, look, it popped out when I said that. Eight of Wands is communication, and right behind it is Eight of Cups. Um, that looks like straight up, you might receive communication pretty quickly, a message or a text, and you might start moving very quickly over this next week. Or and something that you're Something that you get a message about is also going to help you to walk away from something that it wasn't quite doing it or you're just ready to move on from something. Like you're ready for the next chapter. So there could be some communication that comes in. It could be from another person, like maybe even a past person and you finally get some kind of closure. That could happen too because maybe there's something about you're getting glimpses that you actually could accomplish something or something that you had a vision towards it's actually opening up the opportunity is opening up for you so <laughs> overhead we have the tower so this could be something unexpected okay an unexpected change but you see that this is a legit tower so i feel like legitimately or you know like literally it's talking about structures in your life. That's such a Capricorn card in a way to me. We also have at the bottom, the Two of Cups. Okay, there's the partnership right there. What did I just say? I 
I definitely see there's a particular person on your mind. Okay, these are good cards so far. In your past, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You have been very patient, persevering. You've been just keeping at something right now. And it feels it, whatever it is that you have been working towards, it feels like there might actually be a shift in a powerful direction that you see this next week. Almost some forward progress or something along those lines. Okay, I'm going to take those. Right next we have the Page of Wands. Okay, yeah. Look at the wands here. Taking action. Feeling passionate, inspired. And then down here, let me see, what do we have? We have at the bottom, we have the Death card. We have next to that the Three of Cups. Lovely. There could be a union or a reunion or a celebration that happens here. King of Swords is at the top. And then just one more. Oh, hell yeah. We have the Ace of Cups. It's really cool because three readings so far have had different aces, Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, like right here at the endings. So it seems like in general, you've got something here uh, connected with, I wonder if there's a new relationship coming in here. There's definitely someone here that I feel like you'll be connecting with. You And it could be this celebration. This either could be friends or family, whoever it is, I feel as though you're coming into some type of union. Here's the death card at the bottom, and I feel as though there's been a pretty significant transformation. But for some reason, Cap, like what I was getting for you is there's still possibly someone here. There's actually a lot of love coming together, like people here that you have tons of emotions for, like you, you feel very inspired or motivated in some way, shape, or form to move towards some particular people because King of Swords is kind of like a very mature communicator. It's fascinating that the Queen and King of Swords came out. So I wonder if there's going to be a conversation that takes place here. Eight of Wands, Two of Cups, Queen of Swords, and the King of Swords. I feel like this is all clarifying this conversation that's going to happen between you and a particular person. And I feel like it might be something here about a new beginning or some type of vision that you're creating for yourself. It almost feels as though these were certain people that I feel like there's been a transformation in these connections for you. Like a lot of maybe your relationships are literally going through, oh, this is what I'm getting. Okay. So, Cap. I feel as though, remember what I was saying before that I kind of was picking up on that there could be some particular connections that you're kind of hesitant about or, you know, wondering if they've truly changed. I feel as though some have, some haven't. This Three of Cups feels like one or more people that you're dealing with over this next week. And it feels as though there could be one in particular that you connect with or you have a conversation with and it's taken very seriously. It's almost like the conversation could be talk of something of a vision, some type of thing about your future that you feel really excited about. That you're like, wow. And it, it almost is something that has been brought in towards you. That's why this, there's just some movement happening and it could be unexpected. You're like not really expecting it. I think from a particular person, that's hilarious. The Queen of Swords is on the bottom. <laughs> So what I was saying is that there could be a transformation happening in some of your relationship. There's a destruction and renewal here. And I feel like it's connected to this death energy. Death is really powerful because it motivates for change. Like if you guys have actually experienced death, which the majority of us have in some way, shape or form over the past year and a half, someone's at least someone in the mix that you're dealing with in some way shape or form is waking up to that and it's like motivating for change and so you might actually be having a pretty powerful conversation with someone about like transformation or about a vision that you have for the future 
and it's it feels really like a cool partnership that would come together you guys have like um a similar vision like you have similar paths you're actually coming into union at least for whoever resonates with this message it feels as though you're connecting with people that are like-minded. They have a similar goal, similar to you. And you've been very persistent just having to kind of push forward and trust that this would be somewhere in your future. It feels as though you might actually see the signs of that. It could be coming in. If you're not actually receiving this first communication from an actual person, it could be just small communications that you're seeing around your reality that are the first signs that there are transformation taking place. It There are transformations taking place in your connections and the people that you connect with. Like people are, people are interested. People are on the same page as you. There's actually some really powerful forward movement. People are getting on board with what you say. And it's actually like starting to make you feel like yourself again. You're feeling more confident in yourself. You're feeling like, yeah, I was on the right path. I'm glad that I pushed forward. I'm glad that I pushed through resistance and just kept on this path and just trusted that I was doing the right thing. It feels as though it's paying off in some way over this next week, okay? And before I freaking forget the dang door... <laughs> Because I have been for the past couple of readings. Okay. OMG, the doors. Cap. So you have two. I love your doors already. Okay. You have got... Yeah, you've been guarded. You've got a divine guardian pushing you. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Yeah, it will. And it's toward your distant dream. The distant calls your heart to roam free as you dare dream it. So must it be. Yeah. Those are cool, powerful doors opening. So Cap, if you would like to join me in the extended, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link and I'll see you over there. We'll just unpack it further, any other details. And if this is where we leave things, sending you guys so much love, wishing you all the very best and I'll see you in your next reading. Take care.